Okay, for this screencast, we're going to do linear splines. Okay, so let's assume we have a data like this. I'm going to, I'm going to transpose this guy. And we have it in the form of a sine, sine function, S-I-G-N. Now, if you plot this, x comma y comma blue stars, um, you get this guy. So you get when the value of x is negative, you get the value negative 1. When it's 0, you get 0. And when it's positive, you get positive. Now, if we turn the crank and do polynomial um, uh, regression, well, we've done this before. You're going to have your H matrix, which is length of x to, and I'm going to say O is 3. So the order is, this is, say, third order. So this will be O plus 3. And then I just do my for loop, 4 i dx equals 2 to O plus 1. And then h of all comma i dx equals x raised to the i dx minus 1 power. And then a star is just inverse h transpose h times h transpose times y. And then uh, y tilde is <clears throat> h times a star. And then I can plot x comma y tilde in red. Okay. Uh, oof, that didn't work. Um, let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. It's just right here. O plus 3. I don't know why I added 3. It's O plus 1. There we go. Um, and let me throw a. Uh, clear CLC and I close all up here so I can see it. There we go. Oh, and I need to hold on. Okay, cool. So there's there's my fit, right? So if I do um, linear, I get that. If I do cubic, I get this guy. If I do uh, quintic, I get this guy. And if I do a seventh root, I'm pretty sure I get something crazy. Now, that looks like it might be fitting well, but what you don't see is really the fact that this is a very, very sparse graph. If we look, the data points are very, very sparse between them. So what I want to do is rather than making y tilde h a star, I'm going to make x smooth be lin space x of 1, x of n, comma 100. So I'm going to make 100 new data points, and then I'm going to make I'm going to just essentially copy and paste this guy. I'm going to make a new H, except this guy at time I'm going to do X smooth here. I'm going to do X smooth here. And I'm going to call this HS and this HS. And then I'm going to do Y tilde of HS times A star. And then I'm going to do X smooth down here. And what what will happen is I've actually smoothed out the data point. So this is actually what that polynomial is doing. And that does not look good at all. So this is where linear splines comes in. So basically what we do is a spline is just y equals mx plus y0, where m, sorry, x minus x0, where m is just y1 minus y0 over x1 minus x0. So all I need to do is just loop through my x, and I, I, I have minus 1. If I have 5 data points, I have 4 splines, so I do minus 1. And then I just compute my slope, m, <clears throat> which is going to be y of idx plus 1 minus y of idx. All of that, parentheses, divided by x of idx plus 1 minus x of idx. And then my y spline is just m times x spline minus x0 plus y0. And remember, y0 is y of idx. x0 is x of idx. And then what's x spline? I'm going to do a lint space again to smooth it out. It's just going to be x of idx comma x of idx plus 1. And I'm going to do, say, 10 points in between because this is linear. And then I'm going to plot x spline comma y spline. I'm going to do it in green. And then I'm going to throw a pause in here so we can see what's happening. It looks like we got an error x spline. 
And there we go. So here's our first spline. So from here to here, I drew a line, and then I draw another line, and then another line, and then another line, and then another line, and then another line. And I just keep going until I do all my lines, right? So the point is, and if I get rid of my pause here, if I look at my polynomial regression and I look at first order, the green line is definitely better than the red line. If I do second order, or well, I guess second order is yes, the same, third order, fifth order, seventh order, and then I think ninth order, it throws an error. I get inaccurate, but look how like my polynomial is starting to do really, really wonky stuff, which is why linear splines in this case really, really comes in handy. All right, good luck.